Good afternoon to one and all present over here. Today, uh, we have been going to talk about organization culture. So when you have been talking about this, uh, every organization will be having a culture of its own. We all know very well that uh, culture has been very much specific to each and every individuals. When it comes to our family, we have our own culture and it comes to our nation, we have our own culture for our state and for the entire uh, country, we have a different. So likewise, culture is a unique thing that is being uh, shared by your family members. So it is being uh, very distinctive from one family to the another, one state to the another, one country to the another country. Likewise, in an organization also, we have a specific culture of our own. So let us talk about uh, the culture that has been shared by the organization and how it has been differentiated and how the culture is being formed and what is the role of the culture in uh, bringing the organization uh, to much, much closer with their employees and um, what is the role that is being played in uh, the retaining the members of the organization. So let us talk about this organization culture today. Okay. So when you have been uh, asked to define or when you have been talking about this uh, culture, it has been set of ideologies or philosophies or values, assumptions, expectations, attitudes that has been shared by your employees. So when you have been asking whether it has been, uh, there is any hard and fast rule like that of uh, written rules and regulations are be there for this uh, culture? No. It has been shared by the members, like our family, how we have been giving importance to our elderly members, how we have been respecting, how we have been calling our father and mother. So likewise, in the organization also, this culture has been formulated and it has been created and it has been transformed from one gen one person to the another. So these are all the attitude that has been formed over a period of time and it has been carried by these organization members. So it is uh, created by every organization over a period of time. So let us talk about it. So when I have been talking about this uh, culture, uh, when you have mentioned culture, it has been divided into two types. One is of hard culture, another one is of soft culture has been there. So when you have been talking about this hard culture, you could see this power structures. Who is going to be the power structure of your organization? And what are the roles and responsibilities he has been executed by him? All these things have been very clearly defined. So that is where we have been talking about it. Then organizational uh, structure. So we have a definite structure inside our organization, starting from the CEO, then to the head of the departments, then to the supervisors, then from the employees. So likewise, every organization for every part, we have a certain structures. And these organization structures also have certain rules and regulations are being involved and it is being followed by it. And uh, the last one is of, of the control systems. So whenever any employees or any of the member of it's been deviating from the original path, definitely it has been having some hindrances or some punishments or something or thing has been countered on the particular employee or the particular boss or the CEO of the organization. So this is where we have been talking about this hard culture. When it comes to the soft culture, you could have some certain symbols, stories or myths. For example, when an organization is met with some crisis, how the crisis has been uh, handled by the particular employees. For example, when you have been talking about this uh, TVS group of companies, they have a belief, they stay with the stories that have been shared by their employees that even in the harder times when the organization has been having some financial crisis, they definitely, they will not send their employees out. That is when the belief or the stories that has been shared by their employees. And when you go and interact with these um, employees over there in TVS group of companies, definitely people will be sharing, yes, uh, sir, even over the hard times, people will not be sent out. Even though the salary and the increment or this uh, bonus, everything may be, little amount of thing has been lowered, but employees will not be sent out to the organization at any moment of the time. So that is very important uh, story that creates, so bonding between the employees so that they can stay there in the organization for a longer period of time. Then the next one is that of rituals or the routine things that is happening over there. How the performance of the system that is being done over there informally. How the promotional aspects is being done inside the organization. All these things comes under the category called the soft culture is being there. So a combination of this both soft and hard culture is being comes under the category. 
So these are all uh, some of the characteristics that we have been talking about this innovation, undertaking, outcome orientation, people orient, team orientation, aggressive and stability. All these things are very, very important characteristics of the organizations. Indeed. So this is where, uh, what are the functions? It creates an identity for this organization. So for example, when you have been talking with Google or when you have been talking with IBM, you can see the technology plays a very important role in these organizations. So what are the new technologies being there that has been going to get incorporated automatically employees also feel very happy to be a part of this particular system. So that is where you can see that identity is being created over there. And the cre uh, there is a distinctiveness is there from the everyday organizations. The style of the functioning of the organization has been distinct, entirely distinct. For example, in Wipro and in here, okay, talking about this Infosys, this entire style itself will be varying over there. Then why we have been having all these things is that of the stability of the social system has been there. So these are all uh, the culture in an organization helps us as a function to be created over there. And uh, it creates a, um, a feeling or a, a positive kind of a feeling between the employees and the perception is to be of a positive in nature so that automatically employees will be about how the cultures have been formulated. It has been by stories, rituals, materials, and symbols, and even the logo that has been created inside of an organization has been a part of this a language that has been talked over there. It's all these things part of our culture is being there. So um, these are all the important aspects we have been talking about. Let me give some examples in the next videos. You can see that there will be uh, the culture that is being shared by Zappos, an organization that is a part of an Amazon group of companies that you will be looking into the Zappos so that you will be having an idea. So looking into this example, you will be giving a very good idea about this organization culture. Thank you. And if you have any questions, you can put forward the questions at uh, the later on. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.